My fear is that in the end, what will break up the euro isn't the economics of it, it will be wholesale, violent, possibly even revolution that we see in the Mediterranean. And what I hate about this is that it's all so unnecessary. Five countries, five of the 17, have now been bailed out. And you heard it here first, the next is Slovenia. Slovenia will be bailed out within the next two to three months, OK? You heard it here first. And given that the French, of course, now have a new president, who, who I think actually, in the modern-day pantheon of idiots that are running countries around the world, I think Monsieur Hollande is, is absolutely the number one. His third act was to introduce a hate tax of 75% for any successful entrepreneur. Uh, and would the last one please leave the country immediately? Uh, this has become a religion. The idea that we must aboli abolish the individual nation states. And, um, and, and you know, they've got a new flag. They've even got an anthem. You know, they've taken part of Beethoven's fifth and it's the anthem. And every two months in the European Parliament, they raise the flag and they play the anthem. Do you think I stand to attention? <laughs> Do I hell? <laughs> but they've sunk to this level because Merkel is terrified because she has an election coming up in September. So she has to show the German people she's tough and stealing money uh, is her means of doing so. And I repeat the advice I gave this morning. If you have investments, if you have money, based with Eurozone banks, then my advice to you is get your money out of those banks in those jurisdictions as quickly as you can, because next, when the next phase of this disaster comes, they will come for you.